all know the consequences of the pandemic on women. Women are at the front line to respond to the crisis in a lot of sectors, overrepresented in the care sectors, for example. Unpaid work, helping the family and the elderly, sewing masks in fabrics, preparing meals, raising children, homeschooling, was mainly done by women, according to several studies. France has been deeply concerned about the risk of violations of the rights of women, especially undue restrictions of access to sexual and reproductive health services. At a national level, we have simplified access to the contraceptive pill for all women who want it and have declared abortion and urgent intervention. The, the particular context of confinement essential to contain the pandemic unfortunately constitutes a breeding ground favorable to domestic violence. Promiscuity, tensions and anxiety contribute to its increase. The fight against gender-based and sexual violences during the period remains an absolute priority for France. We have adopted an action plan to protect victims of domestic violences during the lockdown period. However, threats against women extend beyond the G7. We recall our commitment to support women entrepreneurs in Africa through the AFAWA initiative, the fight against female genital mutilation, the fact that girls are far from schools risk inducing and increase in forced marriage and early pregnancies of little girls. We are the side of the local authorities to maintain our commitment and support in the face of these practices. These last months have also increased the burden for women all over the world. They have to, they have to deal with an increase of domestic care work at home. Confinement is not carried out under the same conditions, depending on whether you spend hours maintaining the home and taking care of the children or whether you benefit from the cleaning done by another person, by a woman. Women reduce their own economic activities to ensure these roles. That's why G7 countries are working together to improve the financing of women-led businesses and consolidate the place of women in the future. The G7 French presidency's core term last year was fighting inequalities and the French president Emmanuel Macron decided to make gender equality a core term of this agenda. During the summit in Biarritz, France has put forward two key initiatives to promote women's empowerment. The Biarritz Partnership for Gender Equality and the AFAWA Initiative for African entrepreneurs. We will continue to lead the Diaries Partnership despite the crisis in order to upgrade the laws about gender equality all around the world. At this day, Rwanda, Finland, Sweden, Ireland, Ukraine have already said they would like to join in and will organize a meeting at the Generation Equality Forum to evaluate how it has been implemented all over the world. Moreover, France decided to host the Generation Equality Forum next year rather than this year in total agreement with UN Women and with Mexico in order to be able to mobilize the international community around the forum's objectives. The forum will be an amplifier of the G7's efforts to promote women's rights. We are committed to continuing this fight for gender equality women around the world will not be forgotten by the G7 countries during the recovery.